This is the garden tiger moth. A super colorful, beautiful little insect. Wow! These amazing moths, ladies and gentlemen, are garden tiger moths, Arctiacaia. A widespread species that is found in Canada, the United States, most of Europe, even Russia and temperate Asia. It's super widespread, yet it deserves much more attention. Their bright colors warn predators of the fact that they are pretty poisonous. Do not eat. This species is however very easy to breed in captivity. Let me quickly show you how I did it. These are the eggs of the garden tiger moth. They are super easy to incubate. Just use a plastic box or a petri dish. It doesn't matter much honestly. All you need to do is wait for two weeks, place them on room temperature and don't do anything silly. And after a while, look, you'll see hundreds of tiny little babies coming out. Ooh, I'm excited for this. Oh god, oh joy. We need to feed them quickly. The caterpillars can be reared by placing food plant in a pop-up mesh cage and letting them free roam on it. However, it's also possible to raise them in plastic boxes. Just line the boxes with a lot of paper towels and make sure the boxes are a little bit, but not too much, ventilated. The good news is this species can eat a lot of plants. Dandelion, cherry, bramble, willow, clover. It takes the caterpillars a few months to grow from small to fully grown. Interestingly, it varies a lot per individual caterpillar. And of course, it's based on diet and varies based on diet. Oh, and the temperature. If you did it right, it will look like this. Look at these huge swarms of caterpillars. Can you believe they hatched from such tiny little eggs early in their video? Whew. And they become so large and hungry. And when fully grown, eventually they spin cocoons. Yeah, now the cocoons are lazily made. They just spin a bunch of debris or leaves together with some minimal strands of silk. Look at this one. It's making a cocoon right there. Inside of the cocoons they pupate, and you end up with these brown turd looking things. Garden tiger moth pupa. These pupa can generally hatch in 4 to 6 weeks on room temperature. Place them in a box with sticks, paper towels and generous space. And soon you will see the moths appear. Oh look! The sun right here is hatching. A new moth is born. Wow, look at how many moths I have raised and have so much variety. Yellow, red, so many types of spots and patterns. Each one is unique like a fingerprint. The yellow form of this moth is actually very rare, so we are lucky to even see them in this video. The colors return in full intensity. So beautiful. Sometimes even veering towards unusually dark or heavily marked forms. <laughs> These variations reflect both genetic drift and environmental pressures. The moth becomes its surroundings, yet it also resists them. If you are interested, however, I do have some very detailed breeding tutorials about this species of moth. If you like moths, you have found the right channel. Welcome back moth nerds to the best moth channel on YouTube. I eventually place many of the moths together in an enclosure. At night, expect the moths to mate. After mating, females lay many fertile eggs. And from the fertile eggs, many babies hatch. Ooh, look at that! That's how the life cycle is completed. And this is how I breed the garden tiger moth. If this was useful to you, well, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Because I film the life cycle of really cool moth species. For a living! Subscribe for over 2,000 free-to-watch moth videos.